the number one ranked pinball player in Canada, Robert Gagno. Hey, my friend good <laughs> good um, now uh, I'm sure people want to know when how why pinball how did it all start hmm I think it all started when I was around six and first discovered pinball at a local Wally Burgers I used to be out on Kingsway <laughs> And was it, was it immediate? Uh, what about, what drew you to the machine? The lights, the sounds, the cool dog matrix animation, and just shooting the ball up ramps and just having fun <laughs> aiming at targets. <laughs> now, did that, did that help? What, we should let uh, people know that you live on the autistic spectrum. It, mm -hmm. Did that help with... Um, coordination or focus or what was it something in the balls that helped you? I really don't know. I seem no. to be a natural at tracking many things that are going at once. Right. Cool. So you just you were drawn to pinball immediately and uh, you, did you play every time you went to Wally's kind of thing? Yes. <laughs> did you always want to go to Wally's? I did. Also because I thought the burger and the milkshakes were really good. <laughs> uh, well, how did they feel about you, this kid playing pinball? They must have loved that. Lots of high fives. I'm sure there were, were a lot of high fives. <laughs> except maybe wondering why aren't they making a lot of profit. How's that? Oh, because you're just putting in one quarter and playing for three hours. Yes. <laughs> And, and sometimes when I'm talking, I like doing this as a concentration, is this. Whoa, where did those balls come from? <laughs> yeah, awesome. Multi-talented, multi-talented Robert Kiago. I, I like juggling. Good, very and cool. If I had a microphone down, I could actually juggle three balls. Yeah, I'll see it. Bonus content. Yeah. Now, Robert, you're the you're the focus of a documentary that's coming out next year by Salazar called Wizard Mode, which is pretty exciting. I saw uh, a rough cut uh, of what they have so far, and it's really compelling and interesting. What's it like to be followed by a documentary film crew for two years? Oh, well. First, the positives. <laughs> <laughs> and we've gone on some pretty cool trips, is one. Right. Would you tell the audience about a film that they might be aware of that was maybe your first time that you were in a movie? Look who's talking to John Travolta. <laughs> Now, for people whose favorite oh. film is that, which yes. I'm sure there's many people here tonight, it is. It's a hipster crowd. <laughs> I love what? that film. I got, yeah. a, I got a cool fact to tell you about John Travolta. Oh, please do. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna talk over that. Well, Would you tell us though who you were in the film first, if oh, yeah. uh, you know? So these people who know the film so well. Oh yeah, sure thing. Double Mikey. You doubled Mikey. Yeah. So the main baby, you were the double. Holy, whoa. Yeah. Whoa. So when Mikey was tired or whatever, you, you were in or crying or whatever. Or maybe a stunt. <laughs> did you do any stunts? I don't think I did any stunts, you don't, no. You were a baby, though, so. <laughs> no stunts. <laughs> Fair enough. That's pretty cool. That's a pretty neat thing to have. I, I do wonder how, how many of you in the audience know if John Travolta is a pilot. Because <laughs> he plays a pilot in Look Who's Talking. Can well, he actually fly? I, I don't, well, apparently he has his own jet. Ooh. Okay. And 
a year ago, I was at a hockey game with a friend, and John Travolta happened to be at a Canucks game, and he was on the Jumbotron. Oh, very cute. Small world. It is a small world. You bring a lot of color to the sport. Uh, you've known to uh, uh, do some interesting finishing moves. Uh, any of your favorites you'd like to tell us about? Well, people have seemed to recognize whenever something's going good, I tend to do this, like, like half jacket. <laughs> half jacket's pretty cool. I'm doing that. Do the half jacket. Let's House band, seriously, we need a song for this. Do the half jacket. The half jacket. One, two, three, and. Okay. Oh, shit. That's pretty good. Half jacket. Any lyrics you think we should have in this? The half jacket song? Did you push the button? Yes. Yeah, what, what do you think? What do you think? What lyrics do we need in the half jacket song? Well, he's becoming known as the half jacket guy. He's becoming known as the half jacket guy. I like it. Let's work on this for the next one. Do you remember that? I got it down. Okay. Writing it down, yeah. Uh, that's really good. Anything else? Well, sometimes when I get really excited, I like jumping very high <laughs> yeah. in the air. Ryan, you take those two things, the band kicks in, can you give us a little bit of this, what this song would be? Absolutely. All right. Hit it. Jumping really high in the air, got a half jacket shuffle. Did you push the Robert, let's get to the pinball machine and see what you do best, all right? You oh, teach me some yeah. tricks or something? Let's do this. Uh, stretch it out. Sir. Stretch it out. Let's get rid of this. Oh, I'm so excited. So exciting. Do you have any, machine, uh, do you have any pinball machines uh, at home? Do you practice at home? I, got, I currently own 12, and at times I practice at home in my garage. Amazing. 12. Do you have a favorite machine? My current favorite game at home would be Dirty Harry. Dirty Harry? As would Clint Eastrow would say, go ahead, make my day. <laughs> would say that. Hell awesome. Let's, let's, uh, let's pull the ball out and let's, let's, sh let's, sh let's show some stuff. Oh. And you can talk through it if you want, or do you need complete silence? Um, complete silence, please. <laughs> I should have asked first. This is. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna get to see a visual. We're just of the gonna let ball? it play for a little bit, and then we'll just talk. Okay. Cool. You asked for silence. I'm not gonna bug that. <laughs> um. Okay. All right, here we go. Oh. Jacket's up! Yeah. Half jacket! Half and jacket. then the song kicks in! Oh, this is good. Multi ball, baby. so quickly, huh? Mm -hmm. Happens. <laughs> and so it does. It's, it's all right. Happens to the best of us. Robert Gagno! How you feeling? Really good. Okay. All right. You want to come up, Robert, would you? Okay, I'll tell you, I'll finish it off one-handed. Okay, he's going to finish it off one-handed. That's how he wants to do it. Hey, fine. 
Let's see how he's going to do it. You need two paddles a lot of the time in pinball. Seems to be doing okay. But the machine doesn't know you were playing one-handed. The machine knew that. It would. Robert Gagno! Stay right here. Let's hear it for all the acts you saw tonight. We do this the first Thursday of every month. Man, let's give the house band a hand. Toga, Amin, James, Docky. Now, Robert, you you said that you had a, a surprise for me. Is it now oh. or did it already happen? Well, sometimes when I'm excited, I just like jumping in the air. You want to end the show by jumping in the air? That sounds great to me. Jump too, Paul. You into it? Yeah, should I'm we jump it, with yeah. you or should we do you want to jump by yourself? You can jump with me. Let's get the audience here. Really the higher jumper. All right, the audience is gonna jump too. Come on out. Anyone wanna jump? We're gonna end this show by just jumping for the 